In this video, I'm going to show you how to test the homogeneity of variance assumption associated with the independent sample t-test. And the way that that's done in SPSS, uh, at least the easy way, is through Levine's test. And really, it's done for you automatically as soon as you do an independent sample t-test. So if you go into Analyze, Compare Means, Independent Sample t-test, and you put your dependent variable in the test variable box, and glasses in the grouping variable, and then specify your groups that you're interested in. For me, it's 0 and 1. Click OK. You get a descriptive statistics table, and which is this. And then Levine's test is right here. Levine's test for equality of variances. And it's an F test, uh, technically. Uh, and you get an F value of 2.359. And its significance level is 0.129. So I mentioned in the textbook that this is one of those rare tests where you're quote unquote hoping not to see a p value less than 0.05. You're actually hoping to see it greater than 0.05 because that will imply that the variances are probably from the same population. And you basically, in order to do the t-test, you're hoping that's going to be true. Although, as I mentioned in the textbook, it's not a big deal, because we can easily use the results associated with the equal variances not assumed row in the table, if we do find a significance value that's less than 0.05 here. Now, in this case, we did not reject the null hypothesis of equal variances. They're not reported. We have the standard deviations, which are close to the variance. And we can see that it's 0.768 versus 0.813. Numerically, those are fairly similar. And that's reflected in the p-value not being less than 0.05. So that's how you can test the assumption of homogeneity of variance by the Levine's test of equality of variances in SPSS.